guys, today we're going to be talking about the Graco Slim Fit 3-in-1 and the Graco Slim Fit 3-in-1 LX. This is not the narrow one. This is the wide one. Graco, can you be a little less annoying on your names, please? Thank you. Um, but the Slim Fit uh, LX, Slim Fit 3 LX and Slim Fit True, or True 3 Fit, I have already done a review on, so make sure you check that out. I will also be doing a review comparing these two, so that'll be super fun. Again, Graco, please be awesome knowing your name. But this is the Slim Fit 3-in-1, or the Slim Fit 3-in-1 LX, um, as they are now selling it as well. I have my baby in here. This is a 19-inch baby. Um, and the straps are slightly above his shoulders, or her shoulders. So something to keep in mind this does not fit small babies well it also is going to be difficult to get a good newborn recline on this because there's only two rear facing um reclines so not recommended from birth um three plus months you're probably gonna get a good fit i'm gonna put my baby over here um you have an infant insert and head pillow uh they can only be used rear facing they can be taken out at any point rear facing as long as the bottom slot is below baby's shoulders um at or below again a 19 inch baby is gonna be too small okay i had it in the inner slot the crotch buckle fit great but the straps were too high um that being said we have three crotch buckle spots um you move it once they're sitting on it i like that the cup holders swivel in um like this to make it oops, didn't do that so i have it in right now i lift it up and i swivel it back out so that makes it a little more slim i mean that's pretty cool um again it's i mean this is as wide as an extended fit so it's not it's not slim in any part of the word here um all right rear facing mode we have our i mean our lower anchors we have our stapler ones which i like they click on and off they're pretty easy you push the red button to get it off um lower anchors do not have a limit we're facing forward facing they have the 45 pound limit um all right so we are facing we have two reclines one and two it goes from five pounds to 40 pounds again this really isn't newborn friendly you're going to need another seat before it um but toddler friendly absolutely um and it also goes to less than one inch above the head um and then, and also, it be over one year to forward face, but I'm going to say two because I'm a CPST and that is what's safer. Forward facing, it goes 22 to 65 pounds, under 49 inches. Um, and we have our top tether on the back. Always important to use that. Um, lower anchors do have a maximum forward facing. It is 45 pounds. So that is something to keep in mind while I have the back showing. You can fix the manual right here. Great love that um also our model number and everything is right here with your manufacture date um and everything right there for you the manual will tell you how many years i'm not gonna say it because i don't actually know and then our booster high back booster it becomes um so what you would do is you would take this out there's underneath here there's um this little metal thing you fold it flat and you stick it through i do it in my um install video so you can watch there um and then these you're gonna lift this up and you're gonna go under here and um oh if i can get the snaps undone oh there we go that won't happen all right click this up we're going to close those put them in you're gonna flip these up same thing they're gonna go in that compartment um and you're gonna take the crotch buckle out again i do that in my um install video and then you're going to do this you're gonna unbutton these slide those underneath same thing on this side um and then i'm just gonna snap everything back up um everywhere and you have it in high back booster mode again this is going to get taken out i'm actually i'm gonna do it so i can show you it's pretty easy comes out just like that you fold this flat and pull okay and then when it's in it folds out like this all right so high back booster mode has to be on recline four so i'm gonna put it there recline four right there um forward facing can be on three or four um rear facing or 
booster mode has to be for. Um, you're going to need a car that has a removal headrest um, it, for the seat because this does um, impact it. Anyway, um, oh yeah, here's your rubber level for rear facing but for forward facing. you can use your lower anchors um and top tether for booster mode you put the top of the lower anchors in the forward facing belt path right now they're in the rear facing um and that would just keep it from being a projectile it's not what's keeping your child in you still need to use the seat belt you're going to run your seat belt down through the belt guide which needs to be at or just above your child's shoulder you don't want it up here so you move the headrest down this is only a high back booster um and it goes 4,200 pounds and 43 to 57 inches and at least four years old. But your child needs to be able to sit maturely the entire ride without reminders. They're not flipping all over or leaning over even when they fall asleep. So they're probably going to be closer to six or seven before they're ready for booster. Um, <clears throat> now, if you've maxed out the forward facing limits, you got to do the booster. But if you haven't, you should keep them harnessed until they're mature enough to sit correctly the whole ride. So shoulder belt comes here at or just above the shoulder um comes the lap belt comes through here and they both come down together right here and go through these have very narrow belt guys which i didn't love it kind of folds the seat belt which don't love that but it is what it is um and yeah that's the great go slim fit three in one it is a rear facing forward facing and high back booster um uh, make sure you check out my install video i show you how to install the whole seat in all of those modes um with lower anchors and seat belt not at the same time and I'm Sarah, I'm a CPST. I review car seats, help make your search easier. Make sure you check out my Instagram at the car safe kids. Give me a follow, like, and subscribe here on YouTube so you can have um, more content like this. And check out my comparison video with the SlimFit 3LX. That's gonna be really fun. Thanks guys.